What's going on, guys? We should be live. Uh, I gotta do one other thing before we get started here. A little early. Uh... <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll have to read that later, brother. Somebody sent me a uh, message here, but I can't read that right now. Too long. <laughs> Too long. Um, all right. Just want to do this. And then we'll be good to go. Okay. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the show. I am your host, Coach Eo. Today I wanted to do something kind of fun for you guys. Man, this uh, this button up used to fit me just right. <sighs> A little tight <laughs> in the arms and stuff. It's crazy, man. Uh, the lifestyle I used to have versus the lifestyle that I have now is just a. Uh, very it's almost a brand new life it is a new life and so um certainly uh when i started out my this channel i was on the go uh working 12 hours a day um clearly had to uh you know i wasn't eating as much wasn't planted in a chair it was more on the go would eat like light meals you know little things and i was about 160 165 when i started the channel and now i mean i ain't fat or none shit you know I just look like a fucking wrestler or something, like a power lifter. Somebody, somebody said that one. You look like a power lifter. Like, yeah. Not trying to, but uh, you know, you age a little bit, and uh, it's just a completely different life. You know, different priorities. Um, I worked out a little this morning. I was like, damn, dude, you look like a. <laughs> I don't know, but just. Different look, man. <laughs> different look. And so, uh, just different life. So it's it's just amazing. Kind of goes into today's topic a little bit, but um, we're gonna. Um, I want to tell you guys something real quick. So there's gonna be practical advice on this channel. Obviously, if you've been following us for some time, you'll know that a lot of the vi advice I've given has been uh, dating. Uh, a lot it, it exceeds dating but a lot of it has been dating hello everybody <laughs> what's going on um i opened it up today to uh the public for those that have been uh subscribed to us for some time feel free to say uh to talk to each other uh say hello to one another and um have a discussion uh, regarding this and also i would like your participation for the show um let me get into that but you're going to get practical advice here but then sometimes we're going to go a little bit deeper into your psychology and that's what let go with eo is for now i get it maybe maybe some of you may may not like it maybe some of you are like i don't know if i like it i don't know maybe i'll give it a chance yeah, then give it a chance. If it's not for you, I totally understand. Uh, but during these uh, broadcasts, um, I want, I'm going to go down this road here. Um, let me do something real quick. I, I have to do this. <laughs> Hang on. All right. Thank you for that. Um, but no, as I put again, as I put this on, I'm like, damn, like this thing used to fit just right. But my arms are pop. It's just I'm just bigger. I, I, you know, not not necessarily fatter, just bigger. Uh, body's changed. I've been doing some boxing lately, which I enjoy. If you want a good cardiovascular workout um, and, you know, try boxing. Um, it's it's a joy. I've always enjoyed uh, boxing, the sport itself, but even just the activity. It's good for your mind. If you got a lot of energy to burn off, if you want to tire yourself out, do some boxing. Um, it'll tire you out. I got, <laughs> I got a lot of energy. And, um, 
And so when I box, man, and hit the bag and work on technique and uh, timing, coordination, speed, power, uh, it's just fun. I just enjoy it. I'll do a video for you guys coming up. I'll make a video for you guys. Uh, just hitting the bag, working some combos. Um, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll spar. <laughs> maybe. Uh, anyway, um, so again, here at this channel, you're going to get practical advice, kind of personhood advice, you know, where uh, things that you can take that are practical uh, the, uh, in your everyday life that will help you succeed in business um, uh, with women, with people, with men, how you can succeed with men, how you can, you know, um, build quality uh, connections. And, and uh, so we have to focus on those things, too. But I also want to uh, go a little deeper sometimes. I do think uh, it's necessary. It's interesting. Uh, since I did my Let Go with EO broadcast on Sunday, I uh, had several people sign up for coaching. It just tells me that people need this. you got to understand that there's content that you want, and then there's content that you may need. I don't want to say you need it, but there's content that you want, and then there's content that you may need. And so I'm trying to provide a little bit of both. And so uh, let's get the discussion going. I don't have any talking points. This is kind of on a whim. I wasn't planning on going out live this morning. I am on a, uh, a schedule. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to do something for you, uh, for your benefit, for our benefit, uh, to kind of uh, get things, uh, get you thinking about some things. Um, shout out to everybody in the chat room. Deshaun, what's good? Uh, Uncle Guns, salute. Good to have you. Uh, Overton Consulting, and, and oh, what's going on? That's the baby girl. Um, let's see what else we got. Still I Rise, what's good? Iceberg S, good to have you. K Marie, salute. Good morning. M uh, Mel um, uh, Malik, uh, Mabane, I always feel like I say your name wrong. Uh, Malika ba Mabane, good to see you back. I know that you kind of bounce in and out. Good to see you. Uh, Ethan R, was good? Good morning. <clears throat> Sergio, good morning to you. Uh, moments with uh, Mickey Red. <laughs> Interesting name. Good morning to you. Uh, ben Barretta. 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 Speaking of, I <laughs> no, can't show you my. Uh, I have a collection I'd like to show you, but not on YouTube. Maybe Insta uh, not Instagram, but uh, maybe Patreon. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Jackson Steele. I just found religion and started working again. Down five pounds. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'm I'm probably I'm right now, believe it or not, I'm 194 pounds. Heavyweight, light heavyweight, boy. <laughs> uh, 194. <clears throat> you know, just just thick. You know, I can protect a bitch. No, um, but I want to get down a little bit in weight, just a little bit, nothing crazy. Maybe just 10 pounds. Let's get down to 185. Um, you know, general, sometimes when you're living, you know, you just, when you're sitting in a chair, man, you know, you just, you know, it's a different life. Again, I was on the go, different life, different, different person, really. Different motivations. And that kind of goes into personhood a bit. So, uh, Ben, thanks for the 10. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, the Health and Wealth Podcast, been, uh, bringing a lot of um, comments uh, to our comment section. We want to thank him for that. Uh, it's serious when you do the disclaimer. <laughs> I should be doing it every time, brother. Uh, but sometimes you forget. But you, you do have to protect yourself. Uh, Bryson Bell, good morning to you. Uh, who else? Ethan R., boxing and Muay Thai are dope. They are, certainly. Uh, Joy Off, Hustle and Smoke, good to see you. Uh, soon join the members. Facts. All right, man. Whenever you're ready, if you ever get ready. Uh, let's see. I just want to make sure I hit everybody. Sovereign Renaissance, uh, Grand Rising. Good to see you. Thanks for your. Uh, thanks for showing up. Still, I rise. Says God. Morning. Verse. Good morning. Background color. 
I spot on. I just did it in like two minutes. Just something told me red and blue. Okay, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Now, try not to answer these questions perfectly. Um, because if you try to answer them perfectly, then you are in some form of identity. Okay? Just answer them. Another thing I don't want you to fear here during this broadcast is shame or judgment. Because nothing you're going to say here this morning is necessarily wrong. Okay? But your participation will be useful to yourself. For you to participate will be, will be useful. It's just some questions. This is just us experimenting together. We're not, this is not some serious event. I'm not asking you to abandon um, your responsibilities. <laughs> Nothing like that. We're just, I'm just going to ask some subtle questions because this could help you begin to govern and manage your psychology a little bit better um, and help you with attachments. Okay? Now, clearly you can't completely disassociate. It's not, you can't always do that, nor should you want to do that, because the moment may require something of you, and you must be able to adapt. But these are some questions that I just want to ask. Sovereign Renaissance says, EO, I resonate with you the most. I, I will stick with you and get your coaching once I get my money out. All right, man. If you change your mind, that's cool, too. <laughs> See, I'm trying to show you some things here. I'm trying to show even myself some things. If you feel the same way in four weeks when your money's up, let's do it. If your money's up in four weeks and you don't feel the same, that's fine. Okay? That's what I, I want you to be okay with that. I want to ask a couple questions. I did jot some things down here today, but I want to do an exercise. And I want you to feel completely comfortable doing this. I'm not going to be mad. I want you to hate on me. <laughs> In the comment section. Now, don't do it out of force. Okay, all I ask is I want you to hate on me. If Even if it was an, something you, you thought or felt... Six months ago. Yesterday. Whenever. If you've never felt it, then just say, I've never felt it. But just be true. Just be honest. But I want you, in this comment section, to hate on me. And I don't care what, I don't care what it is. It could be about, it could be whatever. I just want you, but make sure it's genuine. But have you ever seen a video of mine? And you had you were hating, but hating not is isn't always envy, but it, it can be. But it was just you had such a disagreement with what I was saying that you felt animosity toward me, and you you either voiced it or you went and made a video about it, or or you didn't do anything. You just kept it with you. You just kept it with you and had to kind of work through that. And so I want you to. Uh, Hate on me, if possible. <laughs> uh, TZ says, uh, Coach Eel wish he, wish he was black. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. Um, I appreciate that. Southern, Southern, uh, Southern Renaissance. I watched you since you were, uh, were Donovan, since I was Donovan Sharp. <laughs> I got you. Uh, I like your philosophy. It begins and ends with the man. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, Johnson Miranda says, Cochio looked like a Oompa Loompa. Okay. <laughs> We're going to see who comes out of the woodwork here. <laughs> got you. Uh, Jojo Love says, what up, EO? I seen that video of the lame trying to clown you. That shit was weak, corny. I wasn't feeling it. You still the man to stay. Bless my brother. But he was working and, 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 and you know, he was just working. You don't have to hate on it. I, I do appreciate it, but, like, who is that that hated on it? <laughs> like, that, that's going to that's gonna go into the show. He's just working. He was just working. And, 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 
and some, you know, I don't know who you guys think I'm talking about, but I'll say the name. It was John Anthony was the first one. I'll say it so there's no confusion. There was two people I had in mind yesterday when I made my video. The first one was John Anthony. Shout out to him. He's just working. He's doing his his thing. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> Anybody thinking about me, man, I mean, it's kind of a compliment. He's like, you're spending your time thinking about me, man. But, you know, at the same time, you know, he's just working. So, so we got to get off that. Um, the other guy was another guy who, who I've had communication with. And I don't think ill of the man. I just think ill of what he did in that moment. I think it came from a small place. And so um, I was a little shocked because he and I uh, have had some insightful, insightful conversations. And I was just a little surprised. That's all. And hopefully what the video I made yesterday added value to him. Let's continue. Donovan Sharp is blacked, is blacked than you, okay? Okay, we got EO, looks like a Oompa Loompa, cool. Uh, Joey off Hustle and Smoke said, man, how does this man keep a perfect line of every video? Okay, and that's... That could be hate, and that could be, see, see. I take that as, that could be a couple things. That could be, I hate the fact that he stays lined up, but also I'm kind of inspired by the fact that he stays lined up. So that could have two, two, two ongoing emotions. And it could have a third emotion, which you're thinking about yourself, like, you know, potentially, how do I stay, how do I stay that way, or why, do, why can't I be like that? There's several emotions that could be going on at one time. And so I appreciate that. Uh, he said, Tezzy, you lame for that. Let's see what, what did Tezzy say. Oh, yeah. He's not lame for that. That's what he thought. See, this is kind of also, I appreciate that, JoJo. But this is where we're going with this. He's not lame for that. That's what he thought. And so my question is always going to be, at the end of this, I'm going to ask each and every one of you a question. He's not lame for that. Well, he could be lame. He could be. But let's, for the sake of this broadcast, let's not judge him for that. The Health uh, and Wellness Podcast says, Now, I have never heard you say anything not based in reality. Okay? Uh, uh, okay, so still I rise, said fuck Chicago. <laughs> Which means fuck EO and probably sinful to pee and everybody else, you know, from this area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's cool. That's cool. You know, it, it's interesting when you start to to uh, debate and start to favor which which city is the most dangerous. Like my city's more dangerous than your city. We don't even have windows. It's all it's all it's all uh, plywood. <laughs> no stop signs. It's interesting. People even argue over that shit because there's identity attached to where you're from and you want to protect it. It's a very interesting uh, thing. I don't even like Chicago that much. I've been, I, and it, part of it is because I've already exhausted through the city. I mean, I've already used the city up. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. At one time, I really did like it. But, you know, once you see enough things, you're not that intrigued anymore. Uh, Tezzy says, uh, Jojo had told us to hate to hate on him. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's right. Uh, beware, guys. Uh, uh, don't insult each other, please. Try to get along a little bit. Uh, you don't need to insult each other. Uh, let's see what he said. You got that S Steve Harvey hairline. Does he have hair? I don't even think Steve Harvey has hair. Does he? Okay. Well, I guess, you know, my shit whack. My shit way back. <laughs> uh Okay, I think they're talking to each other here. Uh, people do not like reality, though. It ruins the game. Facts. That's why I said in the uh, in my show yesterday, which was very uh, intri insightful and very true. A dynamic is formed when you meet each person, and emotions are magnetic, and so your emotions are attracted to their emotions, and their need is attracted to what is their need. A person's need is 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 interested in your offering. 
And sometimes those offerings and those needs are are are, are, are seldom um, transparent. And you you mess the game up. See, you mess the game up when you try to switch the game up. Okay, this is why this is why I've said um, you can start being a liar. And the woman buys into the lie. She does. She acts, but the, but the game is to pretend like she doesn't know you're lying. But she can feel it. She can see the inconsistency. She can see it in your behavior. Uh, but part of her is even attracted to the game, the lying game. Okay? And then eventually you get tired of the lying game. Or you've just, you've just had enough of the lying game. And so you're like, okay, I've done that game enough. Let's try the opposite game, which is the truth game. And then now you, you, you enter the truth game where people want to be transparent and honest and you know, forthcoming. And that's a different game. And we're always looking for confirmation bias. Content creators are doing this. They try to find content creators that say things that match their emotions. And now they want to go you know, highlight that shit. That we're always looking for some sort of confirmation bias. I just had a guy, nice guy, nice gentleman, uh, make a comment. I should pull it up. But he was searching, 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 going back into history, historical figures, uh, trying to go back to ancient times and trying to um, validate his feelings. And I said, bro, you don't have to defend yourself. Just be what you want to be. And when you decide you don't want to be that no more, then don't be that no more. You don't have to defend who you want to be or who you think you need to be based on a historical figure. Oh, it worked for them. It's going to work for me. It may not. This is, I'm trying to get you to think about these things, but, but not as some heavy activity where now your mind is all. I mean, it's just a, an activity. Thank you, SNO. Thank you. Use your use your power if need be, but but don't time people out. Warn them first, or remind them of the nature of the show. Don't just get rid of them, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, Blacker. I figured that. Uh, I figured that. <laughs> Let's see what uh, McBain says, Coach EO, I, I had a minor disagreement with you on uh, narcissism on one video, but I had to respect it be because it was your viewpoint in your show. I think. I thank you for that. And maybe, you know, you, I know when people have a problem with me because then they're, they have heavy involvement and then they disappear. And I'm like, you know, and, and sometimes I'm, that's brought to my awareness. I might think of a Bane. I might think of somebody who's been here. And I'm like, I don't reflect them or I said something that perturbed their positions, their opinion, and now they don't want no, nothing to do with me. This happens. This happens all the time. This is always happening. But I'd like to, to challenge you on that to some degree. I'm not telling you to stay where you don't want to be. But you should think about who is that that disagreed? This is what I want you to start. Who was that that disagreed? Who is that that says this dude wants to be black? Who is that? What? Who is that in you that wanted to say that? This is the point of the broadcast. It is identifying identifications and identifying certain emotions that may not be um, profitable for you. Still, I rise says, I, I never, I'll never forget when Donovan said you're blacker than him. I think Donovan was being honest. I don't think Donovan, meant any, Donovan didn't mean anything bad by that. I think Donovan just said that because he felt that that was true <laughs> in his in his own way. Um, let's see what he says here. I'm gonna keep keep reading these and then we'll we'll go on. But um, you know what's funny? I like roasting, but seems the dudes who have problems with you are really in their feelings. Is it's interesting exercise? I like this. Yo, yes. And who is that that likes to roast? No judgment. You don't have to get rid of them. Again, no judgment and you don't have to depart from who that is or what that is. But who is that that wants to roast? Uh, 
Uncle Guns, I hate EO. I hate on EO because he and I think similar on stuff, and he beats me to gems. I felt that from you. Uh, I, I'd like to drop on my own channel. Yes. I felt that, UG. And, and, I, and I understand that. Um, it's, you know, someone beats you to the punch. It is upsetting, isn't it? It's like, damn, I could have done that. You know? Um, I understand that. And I appreciate that honesty. Maybe you should start a channel. Maybe you can start inspiring and kicking some game. Uh, you know, start sharing some insight with people that can, you know, help them out. It's up to the consider. Zero Light says, uh, some comments made by you can be of a reflection of yourself than truth. Uh, that is very true. Um, all of Most of our comments primarily are going to be a reflection of us. And this is everybody. Until you disassociate and you... Until... Th this time until you can uh, disassociate with an identity your identity and then just speak freely without fear of judgment shame none of that but while you're an ego which is every person on earth you will always speak in a way that is most um, beneficial to you and even sometimes being a, a person that protests another person's opinion, that is your ego trying to survive, okay? And so, I disagree. The disagreement is the persona, the ego, trying to survive. But what if you just stopped disagreeing and realized, I don't need to disagree, Appreciate that, Zero Likes. Uh, nah, yeah, don't give me shit. <laughs> right? Uh, but it's nothing but love from my end. It's okay if it's love or if it's not love. It's, it's what you want to bring forth. Yeah, like, like even this. I want to challenge this not j just for a moment. You don't have to say, but it's nothing but love because in a way that is a defending yourself but i get it we do need to be focused on presentation i need to do a much better job with presentation and i am identifying that within me now um and if you say it without ego and without attachment this comment would never be necessary okay <laughs> this comment although it's i respect it and appreciate you zero likes there's ego in this comment Ego can be love as well. Understand that this love can also be an attachment, an identity. This is a this is not easy to teach. <laughs> it's it's not. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna keep trying this. Uh, I fucks with Chicago, Detroit, my home. Facts. People dumb for bragging about danger. It is, but it, 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 but it's all they know. If a person only knows survival, you it, 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 there's ego attached to uh, surviving a dangerous neighborhood. Okay, there's ego attached to surviving dangerous situations. You you're hearing that on the internet right now with Andrew Tate. He's always talking about what he had to survive. An identity was born from those experiences. Shout out to Andrew Tate. I don't have anything against him at all. I think he's bright. I, but I see I see everything that's happening with him. It's a process. And so if you feel the need to say, I'm from Chicago. Sinful to Peace says that a lot. From Chicago, his identity is attached to where he came from and what he saw and what he had to live through and adjust to and adapt to and and there's a, there's identity from that but i told you at the front of this broadcast 
I don't care about Chicago. I don't dislike it. I don't like it. Sometimes I go to Chicago. I'm like, get me out of here. Take me to a farm. I got to get out of here. But because I've already lived that fast-paced city life, I'm like, I just want quiet on a farm. I just want that because I because I'm ready for another experience. And then when I'm done with that experience, probably death is on the horizon because there ain't much left. <laughs> it's not much left, man. At some point in your life, you should get to the point where, and this is going to sound really crazy, where you don't need to experience anymore. You don't necessarily invite the end of your existence as this, but you're 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 done you're kind of done you're cool where you're at you don't need more and i'm real close to that <laughs> really close to that but it's not coming from a place of uh, wanting escapism it's it's the opposite as a matter of fact it is that it's kind of like this knowing that you are infused into life you don't need to try to make another experience because experience is, you are the experience. Do you understand that? I, I hope you understand that. <clears throat> Coach Uppercut says, uh, appreciate all the hard work you've been putting in uh, for us, Coach. The clarity you give me uh, has me walking a different way. I've been wanting to give back, but I've been, uh, been on a business budget lately. Hold to your budget, man. There'll come a time when you'll have a, a overflow, and if at that time you still want to give, go ahead. Still, I rise says, uh, but I'm doing the exercise. I'm gonna keep. Yes, keep doing it. Good point. Southern Renaissance says, uh, why you stop doing the group thing with Lucario, Steve, the Dean, and others? It was just time for me to do my solo thing. It was just time for me to do solo thing. Um, and I wish those men business and personal success. Uh, Uncle Gun says, no love, baby. <laughs> They'll shoot you. Uh, voodoo resurrects you, then shoots you again. I think he might be talking to somebody else. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, Yahoo. Peace and blessings, brother EO. Praying for you, brethren. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, still I Rise, Steve Harvey's show, he was known for having best hairline. Oh, he was? Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. I like Steve Harvey. I think he's funny as hell. I think he's funny as hell. I'll never forget the time me and my brother went on a road trip to Pennsylvania, Penn State, uh, to watch uh, his son play a Division One baseball. Athletes in the family. And we stayed in a hotel uh, watching uh, Family Feud for hours. That was a cool little moment. Uh, SNO says, "Interesting that the hate is on the is on it, it for is on looks, not content." Great uh, comment to bring to people's awareness. But we live in a very materialistic world, okay? Very superficial, outside. Everything is outside addition, and so I can't blame them for being critical of what they see on the outside. They're being con they're being conditioned. To focus on the outside. So having that understanding of 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 the the, the nature of, of of planet Earth right now, <laughs> not the Earth itself, but humankind, we're being conditioned to focus on the outside. So it doesn't surprise me that the emphasis is there. But that's a that's a good comment, SNO. Only reason I hate on this clean lineup is because Lord knows how much I'd be up in the barber shop, only to have to go right back. Much love, otherwise the coach. Uh, try to cut your hair yourself. Uh, I'll be honest, I never got like 
great, great haircuts from a barber. And then, I, and then, you know, once the situation happened in February two years ago, uh, approximately, uh, where we were all uh, held in our homes, um, I, I had to cut my hair, and I learned how to cut my hair. And it's not, it's not always perfect. I went high as fuck on my hairline recently because I was trying to grow my hair out, and it just it wasn't the time. I just, it's too hot. I said, you know, I'm going to grow my hair back out, actually, and shave the beard. <laughs> so when I grow my hair out, I'm going to shave the beard. Um, but it just wasn't the time. I was trying to grow it out. It was like too hot. I'm like, I'll wait till like October and grow it back. But some haircuts are on point, some are not. You, so you you can't always repeat a dope situation. Like sometimes you get that dope haircut. The steak, even sometimes you have a steak and the steak is just perfect. And you try to have that steak again. It's just something's a little off. Different cut of meat, more fat, um, different cook. You can't always repeat. Sometimes stuff is dope, and it might not be as dope like that ever again, and we got to get used to that too. Or it could even be better. Keep hating, guys. <laughs> Please. Uh, Steve Harley used to have hair back. Oh, okay, got you. Uh, EO looks like he sells cheap cologne oil at the mall. Yeah, a lot of those guys are a Ara Arabian, Indian, and stuff. I could pass for a uh, an Arab. <laughs> I could see that. Uh, Eel looks like a Russian scammer. You will lose. <laughs> uh, still, I rise. Eel sold me a fake Movado. Facts. I can see that. Can see that look. Uh, Coach EO was too weak to stay on the show, a real show. No, okay. That's an opinion, and that's uh, <laughs> you're you're entitled to that. Uh, Johnson Miranda says, "Why I was timed out? I did not. I did what Coach EO asked. Don't time Johnson out. But all I ask is that you don't go overboard with judgment. Like let it be natural." And sometimes if you give people the allowance to be silly, kind of, then they're too silly. Don't be too silly. Like, let it be natural, a natural feeling that you felt. Don't go overboard with it. Because then you're just being silly, and it's, it's, you're, it's, it's not working. Like, just say it, what you felt one time, and then, you know, if you, if you felt multiple things, then just say multiple things. But don't let it be insincere. Someone get this teasy clown out. Hey, if, if, if there's somebody that's kind of like going above and beyond the exercise, give them one last warning. If not, you know, maybe next time. Uh, I'll leave that up to the, the moderator, the moderators. Give these people a, an understanding of the context of the show as I'm trying to. But if they can't properly sit with it, then maybe uh, they're not mature enough for this exercise yet. And... Uh, just give them another chance, though. Fake game week theory show. <laughs> At times. Uh, EO, this, uh, this is fun, y'all. Watch roast me. EO, this is fun, y'all. Watch roast me. <laughs> okay. Ethan R., usually want you see what you see in people is a reflection of yourself. Ah, the emotion. Yes, this is true. Good comment. It could be what you see in yourself or what you wish to see in yourself. It can be... It's not always what you see in another. Sometimes it is what it is yourself, but it's also what you wish... What you wish to become until you become it, and then it'll be different. The mirror is real. Oh, shit. You ain't lying. Verse, hating on someone else comes from hatred to self in some sense. Of course. Of course. It's very true. SNO says, I'm still processing how all of this is about looks, yet nothing substantial can be said in a negative light. Uh, it says a lot about EO and those that are in their emotions.
he can't uh, – see, Ego wanted to come out right now for me. Uh, ego wanted to come out, and I stopped it. Notice this. What my ego wanted to say is because you can't touch the game. You can't touch the game. But you can touch the beard. You can touch – my face you can touch the look you can touch the outside you can certainly touch the outside it's an easier target but it's hard to touch the truth now part of that is ego saying that ego wanted to say that it's kind of a blend it's like the water and oil got together for a minute and it was like it's hard to touch the game and by the game i mean the truth the truth is often avoided. People go around the truth. They try to manipulate the truth. It's You can't really affect the truth. So instead of the truth or the game, I'll go for the, the easy target. Let me talk about his looks. And so that's something that we should all take a look at or don't. It's, it's up to you. Donovan is a white, black guy, and EO is a black, white guy. Who's saying that? Just ask yourself, who said that right now? And sometimes I'll, you'll, you'll find when you ask yourself who is saying that, that it was somebody else that said it. Because we regurgitate information. And so many of the things you say, it was never you. It was someone that you heard say it, someone you read say it, a historical figure. Muhammad Ali said something back in the day. Now I'm saying what he said. And so sometimes you have to even think, who said that right now? And it wasn't even you that said that. It wasn't even you. And when you come to this like realization, you're like, damn, like that wasn't me. That was something I picked up. The music maker. Don't like it when you go live on other channels. Just like the way you do things on your channel. Much respect, coach. Here's why you don't like it. My ego, here's why I departed from most collaborations. I want to be this person. Now hear me out on this. When I say I want to be this person, I'm still in a identity of some sort. Who is this person? Okay, and this is kind of deep. This is going to like challenge you like psychologically. Who is that person? And then you'll notice people won't want to collaborate. Like if you see people like, oh, I don't want to collaborate with him. Because who you are in ego doesn't pair up with who that they are. Even when you think of real game, no theory, what they're saying is, or what we were saying is, we have real game and you have whack game, which is an identity, <laughs> which are identities going at one another. And I want to get away from that because I know I'm neither of those two things at the core. And so what I prefer to teach now is the core stuff. I've already taught you the personhood stuff. There's a thousand videos on my channel about ego. And you will need your ego at times until you no longer want the ego. You will, you will get tired of it because it's unsustainable. And so that's the answer to that. People that are very locked in ego want to watch people that are very locked in ego. Okay? And then those that are on the border are at a threshold like, yo, I've been ego. I've been this a while and this shit's tiring. I got a, is there another way? And then they hear me perhaps 
or someone close and they're like yo that could be it but just keep in mind that it is probably just another person that you're becoming another identity so you got to be careful with even switching from one arena to the next all you're doing is switching personas which eventually will run its course and you might end up right back you just run in a circle you just go around you're like you see new things new people new conversations but you ultimately get back right to where you started And so my, I'm asking you as a activity if you could momentarily release all of that and sit with what's left. You know what you're going to sit with? Relaxation. Because there's no obligation to be anything once you drop all of your ideas, your beliefs, your attachments, what you think you know, what you think you don't know, when you drop all of that criteria, you are left with relaxation. Because there is no need to uphold anything. There is no weight of responsibility in this moment you can even momentarily release the fact that you're a mother or a father i am not a father right now i am not a mother right now responsible for children i am not a man responsible to raise sons you have to sometimes break from that that's a heavy burden because there's ego attached to a father even a father <laughs> There is an, an ego attached to, I better raise my sons right. I better put them in a gym. I better put them in Taekwondo, MMA. Make sure they're educated. I want them to be scholarly. There's pressures attached to parenting. And so what I'm advising that sometimes you, you can't escape this completely because you have responsibilities. What I'm suggesting is that you in a meditative state or not even meditation meditation implies you're you need meditation okay this is why i don't meditate really anymore I, I i think i used to think i was but i don't meditate i just drop <laughs> i just drop drop not literally drop i drop identification and then a natural byproduct of dropping identification is relaxation Sovereign Renaissance says, uh, when you don't believe in yourself and listen to the opinions of others, you will also fi fall behind. Correct. But there will come a time where you no longer want to believe in yourself. Okay? This is beyond that part. There's going to come a time where you should, and you can believe in yourself and not believe in yourself simultaneously. Meaning, you believe in becoming what this moment in time requires of you, but you don't love that, or nor do you believe that's you. So, so you can actually do something. We can call it productivity. You can be productive as a human being, help yourself, help others, but not believe that's you. And this is what I've been. This is why I talk, talked about the neutral zone, guys. I am a coach right now, but I am not a coach, okay? That is not me, but for practicality reasons, 
to be productive for myself and other people, I am the coach at times. And my lessons and teachings are here to pr provoke new thinking and inspire and help heal. If that happens, great. If it doesn't happen, then it didn't happen. That's Belief even has to be dropped. Self-belief. <laughs> because self-belief is a belief. I am this. I am that. Which eventually, if not careful, can be destructive to your mental, to your emotional, and your actions will mirror that self-belief. Adolf Hitler had self-belief. Look what he was able to do. Look what other people allowed him to do based on their lack of self-belief. See, there's a time where you actually have to have self-belief. And a big part of that is so you can prosper, but also so you can not be manipulated. It's a form of protection. But then there comes a time where you even surpass self-belief and you drop the belief about yourself. <laughs> Some dope stuff here, man. I'm glad you managed to decipher my earlier messages, uh, EO. My thoughts go so fast. I try to get it all to slow down so I don't forget. I understand you and what you need to do and what we all need to do is challenge the first thought. That doesn't mean that your second thought will not incorporate facets of the first thought. Because it may, but it might be refined, more palatable. And that's why I told you your first thought generally in this world is judgment, envy, hate, pessimism, a lot of those things. And so if you pause and go, who's thinking like that? It's often your ego. See, ego is stronger than anything. Ego is always going to be first. I actually think ego it always comes first. Until you've learned the routine, until you have, your ego has learned that it can't have dominance over you like it once did through these practices, through this practice. Your ego will always be there, but he'll be in the back like a, like a mad kid, like that can't get his way. Be like... But at one time, he was the bully. He was leading the team. And there are benefits when the ego leads sometimes, and there are, there are there's destruction. But when you lead from this position, you're going to find your, there's peace within you and all around you. And the way you look at things is going to be completely different. There's no judgment. There's appreciation. There's gratitude. Because you realize that your exterior in many ways is what you are too. But the, so the second you need to separate from something, I need to get away from you. You're in the ego. You are. Remember what I said. Becoming what the moment requires you is just being adaptive. But it takes experience to become adaptive because learning to adapt takes time. Sometimes adapting can happen, though, without you trying. But the more experience you have, the more you learn motion. You learn motion. You learn how to see things before it happens. This is why I talked about during my CME speech, being able to see the future now is very important. You do have that ability. 
You can even forecast how a person is going to feel when you give them news based on you studying their prior emotions and triggers to things. This is, this is, this is really important. But, it's, but it has to be done with yourself first. If you can do this with you, you can do this with everyone. See, if you can understand yourself, you can understand everyone. But if you try to understand everyone and you don't understand you, this, you can, it's hard to get here. But if you only knew, we're all going through the same thing. And we're all searching for the same thing. And that same thing is what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Cochio is a black version of Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> I like Eckhart. He's funny, actually. He makes me laugh. He has a subtle sense of humor that I appreciate. You know, what's interesting is that um, when you hear somebody in, in modern time speaking in a certain way that is reminiscent of someone in a former era, you instantly think of that person. But if you only knew your Eckhart Tolle, your EO, we are all searching for the same thing. It's just that Eckhart found it or discovered it maybe faster. EO maybe discovered it faster because he cut the bullshit. So even refrain, you even have to ask yourself, who is this that wants to tell him he's talking like Eckhart Tolle? But if you only knew your Eckhart Tolle, not the person, but the underneath. Your EO. This is something I want to address real quick. It's interesting because my best friend asked me a question last night. He says, do you apologize? <laughs> he said, brother, I got to ask you a question. Do you apologize or, or do you just let it ride? And that's ego. Ego is telling you men don't apologize. See, you heard a man, someone in some sort of identity, ego, say men don't apologize. I've said it. I've said it to a lesser degree, but with the, sa with the same attachment. When you are in the state that I'm talking about, you'll never, you'll, I, <laughs> you won't need to apologize because you won't feel the need to say something that can be insulting because there's no defense anywhere in your system. Generally, when you feel the need to apologize is because you did something and you know you did something or said something that was in a the height of an emotion and once that emotion subsides and transitions because all all emotions do you then reflect and you think that person should apologize that outburst was unnecessary that very critical presentation wasn't necessary. So there is a subdued version of you that will at some point feel a need to apologize. This is why um, you'll hear people say, sleep on it. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever heard anybody tell you, sleep on it? Generally, this is because you're trying to make a decision of some sort. You're on the fence. You're inquiring um, 
around you, okay? <laughs> and so somebody might tell you, sleep on it. Here's why I tell clients to sleep on it. Here's why. Because when you fall asleep, your identities are sleeping. This is why when you have lucid dreams, dreams, you're in the subconscious mind now. Ego is not powerful right now because ego is knocked out. <laughs> and when you wake up, when you first wake up in the morning, notice this about yourself. Unless you have been living in an ego for decades, the ego generally wakes up when you wake up. But if your ego is new yet or not too nurtured when you wake up in the morning you generally don't feel mad angry you just wake up and it's because your ego isn't awake just yet but if you notice after you get coffee after you look at your phone after you get up walking you get in the shower that ego comes back and now you are back into personhood identification again but generally, when you first wake up, you're like, like a baby and shit. Oh. Sunrise. Oh. Especially if you got some good sleep. But the longer you, those minutes as they, the ego's waking up, identification is waking up. Then you're now back in the swing of things. You ever hear people say, I'm back in the swing of things. You're back in the ego. <laughs> and I'm not telling you it's wrong to be back in the swing of things as long as you are aware who's in the swing of things. But if you're not aware and conscious of who's in the swing of things, then your ego is leading you. But if you can be in the swing of things intentionally in a practical manner, knowing that the moment requires me to be in the swing of things, then you could put that hat on, offer benefit to yourself and other people in the business world, wherever, and then you can take it off because wearing that too long is going to be heavy eventually. So you, you know for practicality purposes, I'm going to be in the swing of things today. But I know that's not me. JP, salute. Tezzy says, EO is trying to copy... You know what? Shout out to uh, we have white desks. We he had a white desk. I have a white desk. Outside of that, he had he, he had his own thing going on. He had a mannequin. <laughs> he had a mannequin in the back of him. Salute to Kevin Samuels and his legacy and his and his life. But other than a white desk and a white chair, I got my own shit going on. Different microphone. <laughs> Like, I wish people could see that. It's like they try. They cannot not compare. But keep comparing. I shouldn't take it from you. Keep comparing. Keep comparing. Until you see I should. Or, or if you don't see. You may never see it. You may take it to the grave. That, that thinking can go with you to the grave. I've seen miserable, pe miserable people die. And that's because the ego is dying with them. I recently heard of someone, I won't say any names, but someone close to me said he, he watched someone dying on their deathbed and that they kept saying, no, like, no. I believe that if you are dying with ego, it's going to be a tough ride. It's going to be, it won't be a nice ride out of here. <laughs> but if you can do, successfully do what I'm talking about, I do believe death is not a concern. It's not a wish, but it's not a concern. Mm -hmm. 
Many of you have probably have noticed people having a rough ride out of a relationship or marriage or out of a job because there was severe attachment and identity formed within that situation. And so you are kicking and screaming and fighting to secure that identity. Davinsky Box, <laughs> good morning. And thank you for welcoming our opinion to disagree. The only thing I can say is that some of your streams, I perceive you as being angry or passionate. Yes, you've perceived my ego wanting to defend. Yes, you have. And, and you, you too see that in yourself. And you see that in everyone. Because everyone is doing this at some point. Until they get to this point of identifying the identity and it could still happen it just may not happen to the degree that it once happened and then as you continue to do this you'll notice that the identity doesn't react in a similar fashion as it once did it's like handcuffed a bit until eventually you don't even need to handcuff it it can roam but it it it's not gonna be available to represent you. And even the desire to get rid of ego, you can't even have that desire. You can't desire non-attachment. -attach you can for a while, but then you'll get to a place where you've conquered that, so to speak, and you don't even desire to not be attached because you can be in a situation without, with naturally without getting attached. But there will be a point where you have to go through, I don't want to be attached, and you orchestrate your life in a way to not get attached, okay? But there, but as you proceed further into evolution of, your, of who you are, you'll get to a point where that's not a concern anymore to not get attached because you are in the true self, away from identity, so you, it's not a concern. You don't need to protect yourself. It's unnecessary. Sperling Lily, ten dollars. What's up, Coach? Been hitting you. Uh, be hitting you soon. Rolling and swollen. <laughs> Keep dropping the game. I will, man. Good to see you. I look forward to it if and when that time comes about. What's with all the haters on today's show? Uh, I welcomed it. <laughs> it. It was something I welcomed. So. And as a matter of fact, post-broadcast, if you have any hateful comments, leave them down below. But as you type it, consider who's typing this. Who is typing this comment and why? And if, be, and if the consideration isn't strong enough or valuable enough to you, then just leave the comment. But I ask that before you just consider who's typing it. Why? Why do I feel the need for this? Who is that? And if it's, if that doesn't provoke you enough to challenge that, then just leave the comment. Alex says, Low, uh, lower vibration energy versus higher vibration energy. That's one way to say it, yes. Good to have you here. Ethan R., I was jealous of EO's level of awareness and self-realization. But you can have it right now. And I know that, and I know that people are even jealous of that. It's understandable. But with this practice you will get there. I have no doubt, no doubt, not in my mind, but I have no doubt, period, that with this practice daily, 
it's going to happen. They don't understand this show is beyond red pill. Red pill and black pill is a, is another pickup, another identity. So yes, if you are caught in that, this will be bothersome. But if you're loosely attached to red pill even or black pill or whatever thing that you create, if you're kind of loosely attached to it, then you could let it float off. It's like you're going on a roller coaster with sandals. <laughs> go on, go through life like you're going on a roller coaster with flip flops. It could just, you're wearing it, but it could float off. But if you go on a roller coaster with combat boots laced up tight, which is what we tend to do, it's gone, you're going to live a heavy life, a very heavy life. Depressed life, on medication life. So use that analogy. Go through life as if you're going on Six Flags Great America roller coaster with some flip flops. They may stay on, they may not. In any case, they float off. We're cool. Rafael Cabrera, ten dollars. Appreciate the sticker. Thank you. EO looks like he buys food stamps. I don't think I've ever done that, but I would <laughs> if I needed to. <laughs> I think people have um, tried to sell me food stamps back in the day. I'll sell you $80 worth of food stamps for 40 Could be a good deal. Um, JoJo Love, EO got me stopped. E EO got me to stop falling in love with a woman's image. I was a simp on the low. <laughs> Real shit. Everyone is at some point. Hey man, we'll see you on the rerun. We'll see you on the we'll see you on the playback, brother. Good to have you. Coach EO, would you say it's possible to need more ego? Yes, there's gonna be a time where you have to that's a very good question. There's going to be a time where you need to, do, to develop a persona that can help you achieve different results. So you might have to become a kickboxer. Or you might have to become a social media influencer. You might have to become something that separates yourself from the something that you just was because you're not able to achieve certain results in your life. So when they say act as if, you are kind of creating a persona. And I, but and you do become that to some degree. But don't get locked into it. Use it for a time. Use it for a time. But manage it. Govern it. Make sure it doesn't go too far. It's like a pit bull. You know, it's like you always have to be, you know... Aware, it could always go back to its primal nature. So, you know, I always have to coach it, tame it, reward it, walk it, ex you know, exhaust it, play with it, nurture it. So be careful with what you attempt to create. It's not wrong, and it could be useful for a time. But you don't want to fall in love with that or think that is you because it is not. And there's so many people, unfortunately, that are walking the earth thinking that their thoughts and their beliefs and even their experiences are them it's not them very very good question i have heard of non-duality uh, i'll do a video on it But keep in mind, when you are still thinking of non-duality, you're still in identity because you're looking at something that is the opposite of you. But who is you? <laughs> okay, hold on. Listen, 
Who is you to say that is opposite of me? There is still, even the highest spiritual gurus are often in ego. They mean well. Or maybe they just got enough validation. They're like, I'll stay here. Women want me. Money's coming in. I'm like a god to these people. I'll stay here. Ego. My man looked like a just for man uh, uh, advertisement. I know, right? That's a compliment. <laughs> I do. I feel like at times I had a little too, uh, too, a little too ego, and look for trying to to be egoless. But again, you don't want to desperately try to be egoless because there is an identity trying to be egoless. There's like a a purpose that desire a a, a persona that desires to be blissful. And all in, encompassing and and and, and and providing inclusion to everyone and saving the world. That is still a persona. Which is why I think Candace Harper, shout out to her, she re, she asked me during one of our shows, she said, uh, like I don't really hold my 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 clients accountable. Because truth be told is that is an additional burden and my coaching style is not of that i'm not forcing you to do anything because anything that you force will naturally end up right where it started my coaching style is not to hold you accountable it is to present you you to yourself that is that is my coaching my coaching is to present you or the many yous to what's underneath all of those yous. <laughs> and what you do after that is, is your choice. I don't have a, hey, by next week I need this and that. I don't have that heavy burden most of the time. It's almost like trying to make a woman who doesn't want to be your wife be your wife. Do you know what happens eventually? She leaves you because she doesn't desire to be a wife or even your wife. So if I force a student to be something and they don't want that something they'll end up right back to the beginning. I've had moments of attachment, of non-attachment, but it doesn't last. That's true. That is true. What I would encourage you to do is recognize what your attachments are and loosen your grip. So that way when you are something, you have to become something for a situation. You can become it, but it's like Halloween. You put them, everyone on Halloween knows they're not that costume for the most part. And so when November 1st comes, what do you do? Well, you scrub the makeup off. So I kind of want you to go through life knowing every day is Halloween in a sense. Because you will have to put this on until you don't have to put it on anymore. But depending on what you're going through, you may have to put, you may have to be in the ego. But don't love the costume. That's a very good question. And what I just told you, if you practice that, it will become less difficult.
I'm beyond thinking I need to be rich at 35 because I've seen some uh, guys on the screen uh, day they they did it. EO is opening up the stream to all crush that like button. Thank you, UG. <laughs> hey, man, glad, glad you caught a live. Yes, the topic for today's show is who are you? Who is that? Who is that? If you can start asking that question, man. This is why I recently said the pinnacle of game is dropping the need for game. But you're going to go through a segment of your life needing a system. You will. You will. Okay? But you will hopefully one day see that the system can be dropped. And, but it could be there operating silently. It's there still because you have to maintain responsibilities. But, but it's silent. It's silently operating. It's not loudly operating. Okay, now I'm going to challenge this for good reason. He says, better not to think if you think than you feel and you have to do something. Very, I, very true. But who is that that is saying, I'm better off not thinking? Just, just think about that. Someone said, man, I'm better off just not thinking because when I think, I start feeling. And when I feel, I start acting. Who is that that said that? But when you get to the point where you're like, I can think anything and I can feel anything and none of it's sticking. Nothing is weighing. It's here. I can use it, but it's not sticking to me. It's at my disposal, and I will use it if I, I will use it. And if I don't use it, I don't have to be critical of it. I just let it float off of me. That's where you need, where you, that's the place. Shout out to the feminine truth. What's good? Man, I miss a lot of comments here. Um, I believe that I've presented the material that I wanted to present. JP, $10. Salute, Coach Yo. Uh, we have to master the spiritual and, and material realms as the axiom states. As above, so below. We are not to be unbalanced. Being all material or all spiritual, we must be in both balance. Yes, but beyond even that, the desire to be in both, there's identity there. But when you realize you just are both, the desire to be both is there's still a little ego. Ah! Ah! But when you just realize you are both. <laughs> Only for the willing. 
$100 Super Chat, thank you so much. Recently caught wind of your channel while listening to a man yell, they're lying to. <laughs> also get some real candles already. Hey, you know why I don't have real candles? Used to. For one, fire hazard. And two, when my pets are with me, um, it can be harmful to pets. Candles and um, plug-ins, things like that can be harmful to, to your pets. So as a way to protect them, I went to these. I like real candles. But as a way to protect them, I went for an alternative. Coach, can you open up about one of your personas that had uh, that you had and how you how it served you? All of them served me. Every persona, the hotshot salesman, the womanizer, the player, the married man, the restricted persona. I even restricted my ego, which was a form of another persona. They've all served me. Every single one of them. But I will let that sink in that they've all served me. And what I'm teaching you now is, is, is extremely beneficial if you can grasp it, which I believe you can. Uh, ben Barrera, five dollars. So, Coach, are you saying that we need to uh, to we need ego to aspire to be the best version of ourselves, but then to let go? You got it, man. Yes. But it's not, it doesn't have to go in that order, but it can go in that order. Because it can go the other way. See, when you come out of the womb, there's no ego present. It is a naked body with no chains, uh, no ideas, no beliefs, no concepts. It is just... It's naked, figuratively and literally. But then as you grow, the ego begins to form and you're attaching. You're learning. Oh, that's what my parents do. My parents do that. I do that. I saw that in the neighborhood. I saw someone on the Internet do that. They seem successful. I'll do that. And this is when the ego is forming. But initially, you are naked, literally and figuratively. You are naked. There is, that is the purest part of you. But as you pick, as you age, your, the ego is coming in. Part of that is for survival. You, you, you need to have some manic <laughs> created identity. Uh, and, not, and, now, and maybe not so manic. Sometimes manic, sometimes not manic. Um, it's a survival mechanism. But then you can go beyond that, and that is what I'm doing here. Fred Casillas, ten dollars. <clears throat> Thanks, Eo, for finally revealing the top level of champion game. But I believe all layers of game is necessary to know. That's true. Great sermon once again. I've been critical of, of men on this platform uh, that spit game. That was the ego. But there are, there are levels of understanding. There are levels to understanding. And, but some game is useful. Even the, the guy 20 years old kicking game. Even he can, ha can have something very useful for you to utilize and leverage in your life. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I did what I needed to do. Mission accomplished. 
If you feel so inclined, run the video back. If you enjoyed this broadcast and receive value, hit the like button. If you're new here, browse the catalog. You're going to see practical advice that um, would be beneficial to personhood. <laughs> and then you're going to see this new series, which I am... Um, going to continue conducting which it goes beyond personhood and if you can manage both you're going to be in pretty good shape I'll see you guys in the next video